All right, so my Dodge, the uh, spring in the driver's seat has failed again. I fixed it last time, but I didn't have what I needed to fix it. So I am got what I need now. No. So I got what I need. So it's three screws. One, two, oh, four, sorry. And a fourth one in the back. And then there's four 10 millimeter underneath. Comes out real easy on this Dodge. I'm not going to say every car is like that. But, <clears throat> okay, see where it's failed. I had put a new cover on it and new cushion, um, but that there, all that failed. So that's what I'm replacing. Okay, so what I ordered was too big even though I looked it up on the internet and the second generation guy said 16 inch and then I looked up the specs on it, 16 inch. It's not 16 inch from here to here. It's more like 12. So, but anyway, I wanted to show you, um, I had a piece of wire in my shed that I straightened out with a vice grip, or not a vice grip, a vice. And because I was using it as a hook and then I bent each one of these to go around it I don't think I can bend them to go back over the wire like they were um, so what I wanted to show you is that when you put this back together instead of stretching this side to go over this what you do is you take your springs off and you get a hold of your spring like this and then you go over this back wire and it'll stretch to get onto the wire. It's much easier to, to do it that way. So anyway, hope this works, hope it lasts. I don't know, who knows, but I need my seat, <laughs> so. All right, it's back together.